Okay. So that little uh, slash pocket that you have drafted from your um, block, or if you happen to be just using, I have a, an old pattern here that has, um, has the pieces already drafted. So for the sake of time here, I've just cut out from my, uh, my cotton, the, the pieces. So I, first thing I want to do is I've got my front and I'm going to take and sew the dart up. So you want to get, uh, get your dart legs matched up together. Uh, this has, this pattern here has like a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So everything is really, uh, tiny. Um, and it's, it's just, you don't have to worry about clean finishing all of these edges, uh, unless you want to, after you finish it up, keep it as a little working sample. So I'm just going to stitch here, I'll back stitch. So I'm doing my dart. So I can see through this. So I'm able to kind of keep my eye on the point of the dart so that I can come off of it. And okay, so there's my dart sewn up pretty close. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is you want to take your pocket piece that you have that has this has a slanted um, little side instead of a bit of a scoop so it's straight so I'm just going to line up I have a notch on here so this is my edge I'm going to line it up like so and I want to put a piece of twill tape in to reinforce that seam because remember I said um, that edge is, is a, on a bit of a bias. So you can see I can stretch it a little. So you don't want that half stretching out while you're um, using it as putting your hands in and out. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew that quarter inch seam. So I'll just sew that pocket facing. So this would have um, my right sides together. And on my right side, I've actually got my marking on my pant fabric. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of that slant. And so I've got my, my piece there. I've actually gone in a little bit more than a quarter of an inch just because this is a tiny piece. And to put this twill tape on, I need a little bit of room here. So what the twill tape does is when I flip this back so that this edge is clean finished. The twill tape is actually going to be, it's not going to be on the, the front here. It's actually going to be on the facing. So could have done this in one step. It's just sometimes it's a little easier because I don't want that twill tape to be over past my stitching. So I actually want to line it up as close as I can, keeping it close to the stitching line. And just catching the very edge of it. So like I say, on this tiny little sample, this little half scale sample, it's a little tricky. Now I also don't necessarily want it to go down into the seam allowance in the side because it's just going to be bulky. So I'm going to cut it off at about a half an inch before the end here and I don't necessarily have to do anything else on that so you can see I've got this twill tape everything's kind of same color here so a little bit more difficult so nice small seam still if this was your your actual pant um, and your pocket you'd want to grade all of these seam allowances so I'm just going to trim the back one out and because I've got black thread there's an awful lot of mucky thread here. I'm going to take and I'm going to trim out a little bit more. Try and not, I don't want to catch the twill tape in my trimming, just the actual pant fabric. So I've just trimmed out those. If this had a curve to it, so if this was curved, you would have to clip 
So then you would have to actually clip through a bit of your twill tape. I just like to not have to compromise that tape if I don't have to. So now this gets pressed towards, all the seam allowances go towards the pocket facing. Now I'm going to do a little row of under stitching on the facing side. Just holding all of the seam allowance over to that side. So I've got the under stitching done and I'm a little sloppy. I'm sitting kind of on a slant here with my camera right beside me. So it's a little hard to see what I'm doing. But so now I would take this to the iron and I would press this seam back. So I have a nice clean edge here. So now, I mean, I can see through all of this, which is not necessarily, you know, what you want, but it's fine for this sample. I'm going to do a little row of edge stitching. So you can do, um, if you wanted to do a quarter inch, um, sort of like a bit of a top stitching, you just want to make sure that your stitching is going through the um, twill tape, okay? Okay, so there's my pocket edge turned back. You can see there's a couple of rows of stitching here. I didn't hold my threads. I've got a little bit of a mess there, but you know, it should ideally you want to have that a little bit neater. And remember too, this I'm using a contrasting thread so you can see um, the thread. So you can see my wiggles. You can see, you know, all the little inconsistencies. However, you can see the point I'm trying to make. Okay, so now from the back, on this little sample, um, this was just an old um, half scale sample that I, I had in my my stash. So it this piece here doesn't go right into the seam allowance, probably because this would have been a sample that would have a face, a fly on the front, and this would get stitched down into where the fly facing is coming in. So I'm not going to really worry about that. But ideally, if you were just having a flat front, you would want this edge to go all the way over. So this pattern piece actually, instead of just meeting at the center front, it should have a seam allowance on it to extend right in there. Okay, so my next piece is, oh, matches my table. So now I want to sew in the piece that's actually going to form the edge of the top here. So if you see from the right side that now my pant has a corner. So my whole side seam is there and it goes right up to the waistline. I've got a spot in here to put my hand in. So it works out just perfect. So from the back, these pieces, so if you look here where the extension comes over, um, I'm going to stitch about a quarter of an inch down this seam and then around to the bottom, matching my notches at the bottom. On a pair of pants that you're going to be wearing, you would be um, clean finishing or zigzagging or serging all of these raw edges before you get into doing this because it's a little bit harder to finish that edge. Now, again, I have this little quarter inch seam allowance, but this is going to be great for a sample. It will be, at least you'll be able to see. So there's my pocket, a little bit of a wobble in here, but from the right side, there is the way my pocket goes. My hand can slide in here. Just two more little things you want to do. You want to um, attach these layers up at the top here. So I'm going to stitch this across so that I'm stitching 
all three of these layers together. I'm just going to go to the edge here. So, oh, didn't cut. Anyway, there's my pocket tucked in. So now I can put my hand in the pocket here. There's a little edge here. If this pocket actually dipped down a little farther, you would definitely want to make sure that you finish that by attaching that at the side. So that is a little slash pocket in your pants. Okay, so now you could have, before I did that, you probably could have taken and done a little surging here. Like I say, this will go into the center front seam. This edge would have to be finished off or before you stitch that top, zigzag it down so that it's all in place. Okay, so there's um, a slash pocket in uh, the front of a pair of pants.